Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Turnquest Roll here again. And this week, we're going to be adding and subtracting. This is a pretty big job. So I'm going to need you to put on your thinking cap, screw it on nice and tight, because here we go. Here are today's learning goals. By the end of this video, you should be able to identify the required operation, determine the operation to perform, and write the solution to an equation. That means that you will be able to identify whether you're going to add or subtract. Determine what adding and subtracting mean and write either the sum or the difference after working through the problem. Here are the steps for solving an equation. First, circle the operator. Second, what does the operator tell you to do? Third, follow the command. And fourth, write the solution. Is your memory bank open? Did you cash that in? Here we go. The first step is to circle the operator. Here we have a plus sign and a minus sign. You can choose any two colors you like to circle your operators. Today, I've decided to use blue for the plus sign and red for the minus sign. So here we go. We are going to circle all the plus signs in the color blue. Next, we are going to circle all the minus signs with the color red. Did you get that? The reason you circle the operator is so that you can remember what operation you are to perform. Will you add or subtract? And you have to remember what those things mean. The second thing to consider is what does the operator tell you to do? In this case, our operators are the plus and minus signs. The plus sign tells you to add. When we add, the group gets bigger. When we add, we also use the plus sign. When we add, we put groups together to find how many in all. When we're adding, the group gets bigger, group gets bigger, group gets bigger. When we're adding, the group gets bigger, the number is more and more. Use the plus sign and put them together, put them together, put them together. Use the plus sign and put them together to find the sum, which tells how many in all. Then we have the subtraction sign. The subtraction sign tells us to subtract. And it's called minus sign. When we subtract, the group gets smaller. When we subtract, we use the minus sign. When we subtract, when we subtract, when we subtract, the group gets smaller. When we subtract, when we subtract, when we subtract, the group gets smaller. Minus sign. Take away. Take away and the group gets smaller. Minus sign. Take away. Take away and the group gets smaller. Did you get that? Did you put that in your memory bank? Well, let's move on to the third step. 
The third step for solving mixed operations is to follow the command. What did the operator tell you to do? Did it command you to add or subtract? Once you know what to do, it is your job now to write the solution. Do you remember the steps it takes to come to a solution? Well, here we go. If you are adding, you are performing the operation of addition. Addition means the group is going to come together and get bigger. In this case, we have two plus five equals seven. How did we get to that sum? Well, we took the group of two teddy bears and the group of five teddy bears and counted them all together. When we counted them all together, we got the sum of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Addition means to take the groups and put them all together, count them, and find the sum. If you are subtracting, that means you are performing the operation of subtraction. Subtraction means to take away, and the group gets smaller. How does the group get smaller? Well, here we have seven minus two equals five. We take away and the group gets smaller. Minus means to take away. So we have seven take away two equals five. We began with a group of seven bears. We took away two bears. Then we had to count the bears that were left to find the difference. One, two, three, four, five. Subtraction means to take away and the group gets smaller. Can you remember the four steps for solving mixed operations? Here, we're going to work through each of the four steps together. The first step is to circle the operator. Do you remember we decided that we would use blue for addition and red for subtraction? So here we go. Let's circle the operators. Next, we would circle all the plus signs. Our second job is to figure out what do we do? We know that the operators we are using are the plus sign, which tells us to add, and the minus sign, which tells us to subtract. Addition means that we will take these groups, count them all together, and that will help us to find the sum. Subtraction means that we will take this group of nine minus six from this big group of nine, or take away six from this group of nine to find the difference. Once we've decided what to do, we have to follow the command. If it says add, we must add. If it says subtract, we must subtract. Once we remember how to add and subtract, we are expected to find the solution. So here we go. This first one tells us to add. When we're adding, the group gets bigger. We take the groups 
and put them together to find the sum. So here we go. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We must now count these all together to find our sum. Super counters, are you ready? Super counters, are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So our sum is eleven. This asks us to minus. Minus means to take away. When we take away, we have a whole group and we take away a smaller group to find the difference. Here we go. That means we would draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine circles. And then we will have to take away six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once we have taken away the six of them, we have to find out how many are left by counting those that have no X's on them. Super counters, are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. So our difference here is three. Now, I want you to put on your big spy eyes and watch as each of the four steps are followed in the remaining equations. Are you ready? Here's the answer, four. Do you remember how we would get the answer of four? Well, we have to take away two. Let's check it. And then count those that are left without an X. One, two, three, four. So they are absolutely correct.
This one is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Put it in the pot and make it cheesy. We can see that this is a plus sign, which means we need to add. And we remember a golden math rule that says any number plus zero is the same number, the same number. So the sum here is five. Let's review the four steps. Circle the operator. Decide what the operator is telling you to do. Follow the command and find the solution. Did you put all of that into your memory bank? I sure hope so. Here are today's takeaways. When we add, we use a plus sign. When we subtract, we use a minus sign. There are four steps to follow when solving mixed operations. First, you circle the operator. That means you circle the plus and minus signs. Second, you decide what the operator is telling you to do. Third, you follow the command. Do it, add or subtract. And fourth, write your solution, a sum or a difference. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed your day with me because I certainly enjoyed my day with you. Don't forget to get your parents to help you navigate to the worksheets that will help you to practice the skill taught here today. Don't worry, I'll see you soon and we'll explore the concept of adding and subtracting together. See you soon.